Susan, you're, you're an icon designer, among other things, and uh, uh, have you learned something from the experience on Lisa as to the effectiveness of icons, how to use them, and how they fit in? Well, certainly, um, I think one of the best experiences is seeing a person who's never used a Lisa before or a Mac before um, and even never used a computer before. It is possible, easily possible, to teach most people to use one of these computers in about 20 minutes. And a lot of that is because you can explain what an icon means and a person can remember it easily. So we certainly use Lisa as a jumping off point and making just some refinements and additions for some new features. Okay, your area, the icons, are another one of the key ergonomic aspects, I suppose, of using a Mac. Maybe you can run through a demonstration here, Susan, and show us how we use the icons to get from place to place. Tell us where we are right at this moment with Mac. Well, what you see now is the image, the icon that you get when you just plug Mac in and turn it on. It prompts you with a picture of the diskette. See, you've and a gotten. question mark saying, where's my diskette? Saying, mm -hmm. I need something. Okay, so. so that all you do is, it only fits in one way, so there's no way you can break it or make a mistake. You just pop it in. You get an image of a content Mac, so you know that everything is OK. And you're welcomed. It's just so that the person using Mac gets information all the time visually so nothing has to be translated a little wristwatch to tell you just wait one second things are happening y you've replaced the uh, salt timer before yeah. you <laughs> we're moving into watch. moving okay. into the 80s so what do we have now so what we have now is an image on the screen of the diskette that we put in the slot and it can be with the mouse it can be moved okay. and um, it's already showing you the name of that disk right and it's highlighted in the sense that it's inverted so that Mac knows that you want to do something to this diskette and your choices of what you might want to do are listed in hidden menus that operate a little bit like window shades when you move your okay. cursor. So let's pull down the file menu to see, that would tell us now what? Right, that our choices, we could find out something about this diskette or we can just open it or we could eject it, but if we open it, just say open, and immediately you get what we call a window that displays graphically and in words what is contained on the diskette in the machine. So you can see there's a picture of a hand painting, which symbolizes a paint program, and a handwriting for the word processor, and a couple of uh, memos that were already written, some folders. If, say, you want to store a document or two in a folder, um, it's analogous to life. You just put the piece of paper in the folder. Now you've got something called the control panel here. Show me what that is. Um, always available to you are a number of desk accessories. Um, so you move the cursor to control panel, let go of the mouse button. And what do we have? So this, which looks a little bit like a dashboard, um, lets you fine-tune the system in a number of ways to your comfort level or just your personal preferences. Um, the computer will work no matter what setting. So that Such as, what controls do you have? Say, here's a little volume control. You can see the speaker. So every now and then you hear a beep with Mac when you turn it on, um, or sometimes during uh, applications. If you're at home by yourself and you're listening to the stereo, you might want to know that you'll always hear those beeps. Mm -hmm. If you're a student working in the library, you can move it so that just the bar will flash so there's no noise at all. Say so some of the other features let you adjust keyboard repeat rate or a menu flash or the amount of time between double clicks, which might vary with the age of the person using right, I'm gonna, the I'm going to rush you because I want to see as much of this as we can in the time we have. Sh show me Notepad and okay. how that works. We can pop, pop the control panel away by just clicking on it. And Notepad lets okay. you while you're working in any application, as well as just this, um, f what we call the finder, which is like a directory, mm -hmm. be able to um, grab the keyboard and write a note to yourself. Uh, remember to um, read page 12. And you could say, put this away, or you could move it over. Um, Show me how you flip <laughs> the pages of the notepad. That's kind of impressive. We can go to page two, where it says uh, another note, one left for oneself. 
flip to page three, um, up to eight pages of notes that could help you in your work or just remind you of social events. Um, one, one of the items was, uh, was scrapbook. Right. Um, scrapbook lets you keep um, literally you're only up to 256 you're only limited by how much memory you have free pictures or messages or documents always available for the terms we use are cutting and pasting maybe you can go to mac right and then we could build up to how you'd use that right so say to open a word processor application you could click on mac right and say open if you want to get right to a document which automatically launches the application same procedure, which is why it's easy to use. And now you're loading the, the, the word processing. We're loading the word processor right. and the, to the specific document that um, I think one of the selected. advantages, too, of Macintosh is that things happen so quickly. Uh, it certainly fits into the ergonomic pattern of, of the user interacting quickly with the, with the device. It's just very direct, no complicated sequence of commands to remember. We can, here's a, an old little bit of sample text. This is how the word processor appears to you. Um, a ruler lets you set formats, which is certainly a familiar object. Say you want to go from single to double space, just click on the wider image if you want. And you can justify or center. We're not going to have time, actually, but you could have pulled up pictures from Mac Paint from the scrapbook and then insert them well, into the document. Paste so. them in just by saying paste from the menu. If you want to change a word to be bold, just say bold. <laughs> change the font to something like Old English. Okay, I know you're having fun, Susan, <laughs> but I'm going to have to stop you. It's hard when it's, when it's your baby. I, got, to be I, I get the feeling. Well, thanks so much for showing off Mac to us, and thanks for joining us.